soothing onion honey is combining local raw honey with an organic onion so that you get the antimicrobial antioxidant action of the, the onion and you get the soothing antimicrobial moisturizing effect of the honey. By combining the two, you have a substance that is thinner than honey. It is less sweet, but not as pungent as the onion. It's a nice match. So first, like I said, take an organic onion and chop the ends off so that you compost them. Take the skins off, as so. And the reason I do this is to have this available for when it's needed is super important. So we're gonna chop this onion, place it in the glass ball jar, and let it sit overnight covered with the honey. And while that sits overnight, just on the counter at room temperature, you're extracting all of the antioxidants and some of the antimicrobial activity from the onion into the honey. And then the next day, so the official recipe is to strain it the next day. I personally find straining it to be messy and something I'm not super interested in. And so I choose not to strain it. I just scoop the honey off the top with a teaspoon um, as I use it. And then at the end, <laughs> the bonus is that you have all of this great onion that has been soaking in the honey. Ooh, here my eyes are watering. Um, and so as that, um, all those onions that are left at the end when you've extracted all the honey out to use medicinally, you end up having um, really sweet onions that when you saute them and caramelize them, they're excellent for making like a caramelized onion to put on pizza. So with time, and hopefully this will be a time delay video at some point, you will see that the honey seeps in amongst the onions. And then eventually you get this whole jar filled with the honey. And you let it sit on the counter overnight. If you choose to strain it, then take the whole container, strain it through cheesecloth or a small grain sieve, and then put the honey in your refrigerator and label it onion honey so people know that it's going to have that onion aspect. And then, like I said, take the onions that have been soaking overnight in the honey and saute them and use them as a topping for vegetables or pizza or bread. Then, as needed for sore throat, dry throat, or a cough, Take a teaspoon or so of the onion honey as often as needed to soothe, to coat, to be, have an antimicrobial antioxidant action if there's anything going on in your throat that you need to protect against. This is onion honey, raw local honey, organic onion, chopped and mixed together in a jar and taken as needed for sore throat, dry throat, cough soothing, or simply prevention of dry mucous membranes in a time when moist mucous membranes are a better defense. So to give you an image of what it looks like when the honey has really soaked through and allowed uh, the onions have allowed the honey to really take up the space in the jar. Um, here's a better look. And so you can see that really the honey soaks through from top to bottom. And one thing that I didn't mention earlier 
is that if you do choose not to strain it and just to leave it as is in the refrigerator overnight for longer term, excuse me, in the refrigerator for longer term storage, then just make sure that all of the onions stay below the honey level. Honey is antimicrobial and it prevents mold growth. If you have any of the onions sticking up above the honey level, then you risk having mold growth and then that wastes your sample. So keep all of the onions under the honey level and then just keep it in the refrigerator and take out teaspoonfuls as needed. Um, the honey is really thick right now, but after sitting overnight on, at room temperature, the honey will very much thin and everything will sink down nicely and that's how you know it's kind of ready to then put in the fridge for long-term storage. I'm Dr. Wendy Lee White. My eyes are now beginning to stop water now that the onions are coated with the honey. This is kitchen health, kitchen healing, kitchen medicine. And I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor here to support you in all your times of need.